la da da lovelies and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a very exciting, very delicious one because we are going to be making some ice cream slice. You got that, that, and that? That's what we're in for. Four ingredients, let's go. Ta-da, you have literally everything that I need for this entire recipe and the best part is that you don't even need any kind of ice cream channel or any junk like that. Just a hand mixer and you're good. Well, is this a hand mixer? An electric mixer? An electric hand mixer. That one. I'll take you through the thoroughly long list of ingredients now, guys. We have one tin of sweetened condensed milk. This is a 395 gram tin. Always wondered why they do 395 and not 400. It really baffles me, but anywho. Then we have crunchies. Normally, you would have like one normal sized crunchy bar. I think that's like 80 grams or something like that. But I think the more chocolate the better. So I got one of these packets. I'm gonna chop those up. They're going in that. You can alternatively pretty much use anything that you want in it. You could put Oreos in there. You could put cherry ripes, favorite chocolate, whatever it happens to be, and it will be delicious. Otherwise, to make up the rest of the ice cream mixture, we just have 600 mils of thickened cream. And then some Arnott's malt biscuits to make up the sandwichy, slicey exterior. So you can hold it without getting ice cream melting all over your hands. It's very important. Now, not only is there very few ingredients, it's also a very simple process. It just involves a lot of beating is all. Whoops. Yep, cool. Getting that everywhere. Putting my cream straight in my bowl. And then can that smell? And then you're just going to beat the heck out of it until it's nice and thick. I'll be coming back for you later, Mr. Tin. Okie dokie. Now we beat it. There's the consistency that we're looking at. I'll give you a close up in a second. I'm also going to start looking at these beaters because, yum. Ta da! Lovely, thick, beautiful texture. Pretty much as if you just whipped your cream by itself. You want it to look like whipped cream. Very excited about this. My granny came across this recipe, not sure where when I was a kid, but pretty much immediately became one of our family favorites. And then my mom would make it as well, and it would be like, the go-to dessert to bring to barbecues and stuff in summer, especially because it's so hot here in Australia. Literally dealing with like 40 degree Celsius days this week and it's messed up. So I'm glad I'm having a pool party this weekend. It'll be very nice to have ice cream slice on the weekend. Very excited, yes. My mum had such a hard time keeping mine and my sister's fingers out of the bowl when she made this because this mixture, so Moorish and so unbelievably bad for you considering literally all it is is cream and condensed milk. So essentially, just eating a bunch of sweetened cream. But imagine that frozen as an ice cream. And all right, you can see it now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put that to the side for now and I'm going to chop up my crunchy piece. Obviously, I don't need the beaters anymore, hence I licked them. You always gotta lick the beaters, let's be honest. But the next step, you're just gonna chop up your crunchies, put them in your mixture, fold them in with a spatula, and then I'll get on to the next bit when I'm there. Better unwrap them all first, I'd say. Okay, doggy, now that they're all out of there, let's just chop them up. Not too fine. We want some chunks in there. I don't think I've ever chopped up crunchy before. As a matter of fact, I've never made this recipe before. I have made it in a variation. I experimented with it when I was a bit younger and like made like an ice cream cake, but I've never made the ice cream slice specifically. So therefore, I've not chopped up honeycomb before. I think when I made it, I made it like make cookies and then make a cookie base and then like cookie dough bits inside and stuff. I think it was for my mom's birthday actually. That was ages ago. 
That was when I lived in a house that is currently demolished and no longer exists. How bad do I want to eat all of this? You have no idea. Do do do, I'm getting there. Woo! Honey crumb galore. Yum. Some of that went on the bench, but most of it went in there, so that's a good-ish thing. Now I want all the dust, because then it'll mix in and make it the ice cream kind of honeycomb. Okay, spatula. Fold. Whee. My fingers taste amazing. Now I'm gonna go tray. This is very important. Give me a second. Okay, here is my lined tray. If you have a deep one, definitely go with that. I do, but it doesn't have like straight edges. They're kind of like leaning outwards. So this is what I've decided to go with. Uh, hopefully it goes okay. I've got to open up my malt biscuits now. And I have to make sure that I put them in the right order so that I can match them on top and not mess it up. This recipe is like, you guys have no idea how nostalgic this is for me, seriously. Because I lived two hours out of the city where I live now. Um, and my grandparents lived in the city. If we ever stayed with them on the weekend and my parents were like away doing something, they'd like to treat us essentially. And my granny and papa, shout out to them, they always watch. Well, my granny would make this um, recipe and she would quite often say, oh, go look in the freezer. Go look in the freezer and there'd just be ice cream slice in there and it'd just be the best thing ever. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times that this was my birthday cake. Like, the best birthday cake ever, honestly. So okay, this is, this, I'll show you the spread of my bickies. I can't lift it up because that would just be quite silly and pointless, to be honest. The bickies. Oh, light out. How many have we got? We got four by five, so we got 20. We'll cut those in half, so we'll have 40 pieces. Okay, now for the scary part. I have to actually put this mixture on top without messing up the layout of the biscuits. Not gonna lie, I remember hearing my mom swear from the kitchen when doing this part. <laughs> and I can already see why. <laughs> You're like trying to move the mixture around on top and not from the bottom, otherwise it's gonna shift the biscuits as well. There's very muchly an art form to this. I'm leaving that for myself and brain. <laughs> okay, now we've put more biscuits on top. No idea whether or not these are gonna line up, but I'm hoping so. Ooh, yeah. You know what? If they're not perfect, it's still gonna taste freaking delicious either way. So, there. Yay! My first ever ice cream slice is done. Look how magnificent it is. Don't hold it that way too long or it'll stick. Ooh. It is magnificent. Now I pretty much just have to wrap it in glad wrap, which I assume you guys don't really care about seeing. It's not that exciting. The exciting part, however, will only come in a few seconds for you guys, and that is when I cut it up, we see how I did, and then I get to eat some. Woo! See you tomorrow. La da da. Kid you not, I'm so 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 excited for this that I literally got in the door from work about two minutes ago, if that. So, let's get out the freezer, cut it up, and try it. Let's get the glad wrap off. The safety piece of baking paper. Ta-da, and hallelujah. I've been looking forward to this for 24 hours, people. Whew. Normally when I make things, I get to try them straight away, so it's like, Bit crazy. Now you come. Ooh, ooh, loud. I'm gonna use a bread knife because that's the one that's clean. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. <laughs> I could get one of the proper ones out of the dishwasher and like wash it, but I could also just but use also, this one. No. <laughs> <laughs> but also, I could use this one. And eat the ice cream slice sooner. Look at that! I didn't cut any of the biggies. He 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 he. Maybe I can just eat it like this. Hey you, do you want to put a shirt on and actually try it on camera with me? Because I assume you want to try it, so you may as well do it on camera. I'm pretty sure I'm ty typing. <laughs> okay, which one looks? <laughs> That's crap.
and hopefully not falling off this time. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching me make this. Please do let me know down in the comments if you make it. It is super quick, super easy, and super delish. I know it may be hard to wait for it to freeze overnight, but if I can manage to wait, then you guys can too. If you enjoyed this video, please do not hesitate to give it a massive thumbs up for me. It means a lot to me, and it also really helps me out. Plus, it means I know which content you guys are liking. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Angela. Welcome to the lovely Lada Lada family. If you'd like to join us on a more permanent basis, you can do so by hitting the subscribe button down below and ding in that notification bell to be told when I bring out a new video. Otherwise, that is all from me today, guys. No promises that I will not eat all of this before the full party tomorrow, but hopefully not. Each and every one of you have an absolutely wonderful, gorgeous, beautiful, marvelous, spectacular day, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Lada Lada, love ya. Mm -hmm.